And for our final item today, Israel's south has seen a lot of development over the years. And during the past decade, many new settlements and towns likewise popping up in the area, one of which, the communities of Chalutza, which consists of Neve, Shlomit, and Bnei Netzarim. And Chalutza, particularly special as it received a lot of added support from the Jewish National Fund USA, including investment in a new project that will definitely be among the cream of its crop. Joining us to tell us more is liaison between Chalutza and JNF USA, Yedidia Harush. It's great to have you here with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's great to be here. Thank you so much. It's, it's my pleasure. And, and Happy New Year, by the way. Uh, all right. So first of all, let's start with the geography. You know, where is Chalutza located? So Chalutza is basically located on the triangle border between Egypt and Gaza, exactly where this uh, triangle uh, of uh, Egypt, Gaza, and Israel meets. That's where uh, it's located. So why, you know, why would JNF USA, or rather what type of uh, support is JNF USA providing uh, to this community? So JNF USA overall um, has wrote down a plan, a vision to bring uh, half a million Israelis to the Negev. And uh, the communities of Chalutza have been in partnership with uh, JNF for the past 15 years, uh, developing from the ground up and helping uh, build uh, synagogues, day daycare centers, uh, kindergartens, uh, young farmers incubator. We're building a big uh, community center. Everything that the community needs, basically key projects uh, that uh, will help us for the next 15 or 20 years ahead. Well, and of course, uh, an economy and economic infrastructure to support this growing population, which brings us to this project. Uh, you know, we, we kind of hinted at it earlier. We have a dairy farm. Why a dairy farm? How did, the, how did this come about? That's a great question. Um, we uh, sit down and think as a community, what will be our economical anchors? And because we live in the Negev and we were able to develop a big agricultural uh, business, uh, growing uh, 80 species of crops, we are sitting and thinking what else in agriculture we can do that will not be dependent on growing something from the ground. And uh, that's where we brought the uh, dairy farm idea. And uh, thanks to the government of Israel, we are able to get the quotas of milk, which we needed in order to uh, be able to build this, uh, this dairy farm. So what's, what's maybe something that's special or most special about this farm? So this dairy farm, first, it was planned uh, in advance uh, to be a very large dairy farm, right. the largest in the Middle, Middle East. So how many cows are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about uh, about 1,500 cows wow. when we reach our capacity. Yeah, and, and it's a green farm, sustainable farm with the solar, solar panels and the roofs and uh, recycled water and the sewage that comes from the dairy farm will be used after being treated to grow the crops around the, the dairy farm and robotic uh, dairy farm in the future. How many... You mentioned 1,500 cows at full capacity. How many liters of, of milk is that? We're talking about 900, 9 million liters a year. Is this going to be sold primarily just in Israel or in, in the Negev area, or is it going to be exported to, you know? Uh, countrywide. Countrywide. All right, so, you know, do you see this decision as helping the, the community uh, financially, but also do you see this uh, as a catalyst for the growth uh, of the region? Because, you know, how many people are, are you going to be bringing to the dairy farm? 100%. Uh, we see this project um, as a regional project. Um, just as an example, the manager of this farm uh, li lived in the center and moved to, uh, to the Negev, to one of the communities, not in Chalutza, to live in order to be the, uh, the manager. And this dairy farm, as we are speaking right now, will bring 20 quality jobs. It means 20 new families that will come before we expand it with uh, phase B and C, which will bring 20 uh, new jobs uh, each phase that we grow. We see it as a great catalyst and a, a very big anchor for uh, economic anchor for the community and for the yeah. region. Wait, so, so my last question, you know, hit me with, uh, with phase you know, B and C. You, what's, what's the next step? The next step is uh, actually to build our own uh, facility for uh, selling dairy products uh, to uh, bring more cows and uh, to continue this great partnership with uh, Jewish National Fund that for us has been the number one partner from day one, obviously in addition to the government. But, you know, for those who are watching us, it's, it's, it's amazing to have such partners who live 6,000 miles away but are with us every day. Wow. All right. Well, 
good luck to thank you. you. Good luck to the dairy farm, of course, in Khalutza. And, uh, and thank you so much for joining us again. Thank you so much. And happy New Year. Happy New Year. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.